Okay, so <coughs> this question is saying so your young sister has been given homework by her teacher to mention which year is lit and which is not. And she seems puzzled and has come up for you. Now the next part in VB. Is her work by developing a visual basic application that determines whether the year is lit or not? The system should be able to take user input as year and displays a message using a message box, huh? stating whether it is a leap year or, or not. Are you getting it? OK. So here we are going to use what we call a message box, and you can also use what we call an input box in that case. Mm -hmm. So what you are going to do, uh, you are going to come. First of all, you need to understand what a leap year is. If you go to Google and you search about leap year, you, there is information there about leap year conditions. So the conditions are there. Leap year rules, the year must be dissolved by, by, by four, and uh, it, 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 can, it, it should not be divisible by 100, but if it is divisible by 400, then it becomes a leap year. So, for example, here, we have seen, if you go to our calendar, you realize 2020, 2024 is a leap year. So you can see it has 29 days. Leap years have an extra day. But uh, if you go to, um, if you go to 2028, 2028, um, 2028, Feb, is also a leap year. But if I go to, um, if I go to a year like uh, 20 what? 20, um, 2100. Okay. 20 what? 100. 2100. This year here is not leap because it is divisible by, you see, it is not leap. It is divisible by by four, but it is also divisible by what? By 100. But it's not divisible by what? By 400. Now, if I go to um, 20, 20, 2200, huh? uh, okay, let me go backwards instead of going upwards. If I go to 2,000, uh, 2,000 is not leap because it is divisible, it is leap because it is also divisible by what? By 400. Are you getting it? It is divisible by 100, but that has not, this one has made it to qualify the last condition. Is that okay? So that is, it's always good to first understand the number very well. Now. Let me show you how we are going to do it. So I'm going to come here and I create a folder. If it, this is this uh, this particular number here was the, the number of UB tape 2022 this uh, last year, and uh, it was a uh, question number question number four. So when you are naming your programs in VB, you either name this program basing on the program name, or you can name it basing on question name. Because when the examiner is marking, you will need to know which question it is. So I can decide to call, to create my folder here. And uh, I call this folder, um, call this folder, okay, Kaleri Rogers. This is my, my candidate folder. Inside this folder, I'm going to create there another folder. I'm going to create there another folder inside here. And I'm going to call it question four. Okay. Question four. Leap year. I can add there leap year. Or I can just call it question four. So that the examiner can easily know 
when they are marking, they are opening my folder, they cannot this question so we are marking. Then from there I open my Visual Basic. I should be having my Visual Basic software installed. Okay? <laughs> so this software here, I told you where to download it. On the website of Shareability, it is there under the under the software folder under the, 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 the software page you can be able to get the software and install and also there is um, a key after installing and you find that it is asking for a key or anything you can be able to access it from there and then you use it okay that is the something that I told you let me just show you for the sake of the video. So I have it here. Visual Studio 2020 plus the, the activation key is also there. So my friend, why are not it installed? Oh, you yeah, are not installed. You can always access it on shareability.net slash software and download the software and install. Now I've finished installing. So I'm going to start doing the number. I'm going to come on file menu okay and then i click new art new project and when i click on new project i can be able to browse okay i browse where my my question is question four actually i can just call it question four here and then when it comes to here I can now put there lip here. Are you getting it? So we should have the other, the other folder, I could call it question four, and then here I call this one what? Lip here. So that is how you should locate. At the end of the exam, you will burn your, your folder onto the, onto the CD. Now, in this case, So the program is starting. Okay. So, my program has started, okay? So in Visual Basic, we have what you call a form. Uh, the form element. Now in this program, we are not going to do it by drawing the, a lot of elements here. We are just going to put our button, which is going to enable us to run the program. We are not going to use text boxes and whatever here, like other programs that we do. So in our window here, in our Visual Basic, it is always important to make sure that our windows are visible. If you start your program when your windows are not there, it makes you to, you should have your windows. You can save plot. You should, do, you should be able to have your, your, uh, windows, your windows visible. We have what's called the Solution Explorer. Some of these windows are important. Uh, if you are to to have your work, so let me first let me first do plot them. So we have these windows here, okay. So under the view menu, we have what you call the properties window. This one is very important. The properties window. If it is not uh, coming out well, you need to find a way of making it visible very well. Okay, it's here. You have to see that your properties window is visible eh? when you are starting to work. You need the properties window and also you need what you call the toolbox. Okay? The toolbox also is very important. So I can say plot, uh, so that I can have my toolbox uh, to plot 
okay? I can decide to put it also on this side. So the toolbox and the property window are very what? Important. Are we there? And I have my work area as well. Okay. So in this particular program, we have what you call up here the form. So I'll go under the properties and I look for form, where there is form. And I call it, I give it an appropriate name, Lipia or not. Okay? Lipia or not. Hmm? So I've put it here. That is my text box. Then I'm going to put a label to guide my people on how to use my program. Okay? So this is my label. This label, I'm going to use the properties window here. Uh, we have what you call the, um, the font. Okay? Okay, I'm going to increase the font a bit. I'm going to increase my font so that my things can be seen very well. Okay? And uh, I'm also going to change what called the power color. The power color can be um, custom. I can choose this red. Okay. Okay. Here, I'm going to come and I look for where there is text. So the label, this is just a label. I'm going to say text, text, text. Where is my text? I should have text is here. Okay? Click to run. Okay? Okay. Program to to determine So I'll put there program to determine. That is my label. I'm going to come to my toolbox and I'm going to choose a button. I put it here. Uh, okay, if you get any errors, you increase your button. The button also, you can change its font if you want. Uh, I'm going to make it here, bold. And I'm going to say, click to run. Okay. Okay. Click to run program. So in this case, this button is going to be the one that we are going to we are not, we, we are going to run, and then it is going to help us to watch to. I can rename it and I call it BTN run. Okay, that is my that is my prog my button name. Okay. Okay. Click to run. Program. Okay, so I've finished the the the, the design here of my I can change also the background here. Okay. I put some nice color in the back end. So I finished this design. When an examiner is looking at your work, they also look at whether you know how to design. So my friend here designed a program with smaller words. You can increase fonts of the words, the button, so that we can easily, easily visit. Are we there? Now, this program does not do anything. Let me save. Now, I'm going to program. I'm going to program my, my, my program here. Okay? So, I'm going to double click. Okay? So, according to our question, they say, the question said, we are going to use uh, a message box. Okay? So we should ask this person, we are going to use what we call a message box, and also we are going to use what we call an input box, okay? So, I told you to 
read, there's this site called VBTutor. VBTutor has a lesson on message box and input box. Hmm? This site has lessons. I told you to follow. Oh, look through these lessons. By now, I expect that you have been lo looking through these lessons. This is lesson 12. Hmm? So, in this one, you learn about what's called the message box and then also the, the input box. So, what we are going to do, we are going to let us use the um, input box. Okay? The input box is going to ask the person to enter a year. And then after that, what the input box does, it has what you call the prompt. These are these ones are parameters. It asks you, and then you enter, and then whatever you enter is saved in a variable. Okay? So here they are giving an example for an input box. What is your message? It is this kind of box. Then someone enters in the message. Then whatever the person enters it will be saved in a variable for us to use, okay? So, and then we are going to use if conditions even in our program here. So, I'm going to have, um, I'm going to have um, uh, this. What is your message? So, let me, let me get something like this. And it's going to be the user message here, okay? And remember, I have what you call a dim. Uh, this one here, the declaring a variable. So let me try, try to do it here in our program. So let me first close this giant here so that I can do this program very well. So I'm going to say dim, dim, um, so I'm going to declare this year, okay, as integer. Okay. Dim year as integer. Okay. Because I want the person to enter in a year. A year is an integer, isn't it? Okay. Then I'm going to say uh, here, I'm going to say year. Year is equal to, so I have Microsoft.visualbasic.input box. What is your, what is enter a year? Here I'm going to say enter. Enter a year. Okay? So, this one here is normally the title of the form. This is year entry um, form. Okay? Then, here, I'm going to put a year, maybe... Uh, let me just put a zero or two thousand. Okay. Now this this other value here and this one are the default width and height of the form. Let me first save and then you understand. So if I I run this program right now, this is what is going to happen. If I run this program right now, it is going to bring my program. If I click here, it is going to prompt, it is going to bring this year entry form, enter a year. Let me pass, show you very well whether you are, you are, you are, you are really, um, so let me first stop here. So what I'm doing here is I'm running, okay? And I'm having, look at my, my program, it has leap year or not. This was the label we put the other side. When I click on this, it's going to bring this. Okay? Click here to run program. If I click on that, it is going to ask me, it is going to bring this other prompt. Enter a year. So look at this. Year entry form is what is in the middle here the title of the, of the message. This is known as an input box. Enter a year is the message which is inside the, the form. The, these buttons are put automatically once we make, and this is a Microsoft Visual Basic input box. Then this 2000 is the default 
value. Then these 500 and 700 are the dimensions of the form. If you, so I've made it 700, that means it's long. If I, if I reduce it to, if I, if I reduce it to, uh, to maybe 500, okay? If I make it, uh, if I make this one maybe 600, it means it will be taller than it is wide, okay? So I will have reduced it in that format. Now this program did not have, we, don't, we didn't have to, the other form, we don't have to design there, put there the form manually and do everything. The buttons, we never designed them manually. They come automatically. Are you getting it? Okay. Now, after we have entered this, after we have entered this, after we have entered this, we shall need to program now. Okay? So we have used our, we have get our year. So now we are going to use our if function Z. Huh? We are going to use our if functions now to program and say, uh, to see how to, um, uh, to, 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 so we are going to come and say if, we can use what you call case. We can use the case. Uh, but we can also just use if functions. So we are going to say if. Okay? We are going to use an nested if. So we are going to say if we yeah, are. If we yeah, are. So we want to show whether the year is divisible by 4. So we are going to say, we are going to use what we call modulus. Modulus 4. If we yeah, are, modulus. The percentage means modulus. The theory I gave you in the test, there was something about modulus. You remember? So if year modulus 4 is equal to what? To 0. Okay? That is my condition. Mm -hmm. If year modulus what? 4. Let me see if I can put this in brackets. Okay? This is uh, our modulus operator. Okay, let me see. In the Visual Basic, we have uh, we have what you call operators. Eh? What you call math operators. Math operators in Visual Basic, we should know. Um, so we have what you call math opera operators and all that, and one of them is mod. So we don't use this percentage actually in the individual basic individual basic we use the mod they are here so when I, I click in other programming languages like C we use others here we use you see this one modulus it returns the remainder of an integer division so we we say 15 mod what we don't use the other percent the, the percentage we use it in C programming and other programming languages are we there so that is how uh, it could be able to confuse us so we say Modulus. Eh? So how did I suspect? I saw the percentage, eh? and it was showing me. If yeah, modulus four is equal to zero, eh? then that means it is the elipia. I getting it? But again, we have the other condition also. Eh? If it is what? If it is the if it is not, are you getting it? If it is the, uh, not uh, divisible by 100, isn't it? So what we are going to do, we can put there two conditions. Huh? We can put there, and we, we can put actually three conditions. Huh? So let me let me put there two conditions. <coughs> if yeah modulus four is equal to zero, and we have what you call a logical operator. Logical operators are, are supposed to help us to to to, to, to combine um, to combine um, to combine conditions. So let me see. 
uh, what you call logic operator. A logic operator is like in, in, this, in the set theory, we have what you call intersection, and then we have what you call what? Uh, we have what you call union uh, and all those things. So I have what you call logic operators. Logic operators in Visual Basic. I'm going to use them. Okay. Let me show you this one here. Logic, logic operators. So I'm going to say, if we are modulus 4 is equal to 0, and, okay, and, uh, yeah, Modulus what? 100. Is also equal to what? 0. Okay. Let me pass. These brackets may not be needed here. If we are modulus, modulus 4. Yeah, divided by 4 is equal to 0. Okay? And yeah, modulus 100. Okay? Now here, we are not, we are going to say, we are going to say the not. Eh? We are going to say we are going to say we have some operators. If I want, um, I, wa I, wa I don't want it to be equal to zero. I want this one to be, um, uh, let me see, how do, we, how do we say this? How do we say this? How do I say is not equal to? Hmm? Exclamation equal sign. My video basic here seems not to be, you see, not equal, not equal to. Not equal to in video basic. <coughs> okay, not equal to, we don't use this, we use this one here. We use uh, greater than and then what? Greater than then what? Equal to. Those things are all there on VB Tutor. Eh? And to be practice. So if we are is modulus 4 is equal to 0, that's what we noted that. If a year is divisible by 4, it is okay. But it should not be divisible by what? By 100. Hmm? According to our our conditions, it should not be divisible by 100 according to our conditions there. The year is divisible by 4. Hmm? But it is not divisible by what? By 100. Are you getting it? And then, okay, so that is it. And then the other condition was the, um, so if it is the, the other condition was what? If it is divisible by 400. Okay. But that is the, a precondition after. So if after, after this, then I'm going to say I'm going to say okay. Let me first say let me first put then I'm going to say message box. Let me let us first do it like this. Eh? Message box yeah is leave. Let us first do something like this. By the way, even here, we may not put all, put all this. We can just say input box. It should also be able to work by default. Okay. So, I'm going to zoom this and you see. Let us first try to run this. Um, so, if this, then we are going to say, We are going to say else, else, message box, 
message box. You see, in the programming, it is about you need to be able to have ideas. Eh? Message box, and then I say message box, and I say here yeah, is not what is not deep. Okay. Okay. Let us first do this. And remember, in programming, you need to be able to do debugging where need be and until when you get what you want. You may not get something direct. It requires some rethinking and reasoning. Eh? But this is this. So let me run this. Okay? So you can see my time has gone. So I'm, I'm running. Program determining leaf here. Run program. Okay? So the program, when I run, it brings this. It says, enter here. So if I enter 20, 22. Okay? I click OK. It is say, yeah, it's not what? Leap. Okay? I run again. Why are you very happy? Hmm? <laughs> you are surprised. <laughs> enter here. Uh, I enter 20 what? 24. Okay? It is divisible by 4. Hmm? And the uh, year is leap. Are you getting it? Now, let me put in a year which is divisible by 4, but also divisible by what? Like 2,000. Eh? The year is not leap. Because it is both divisible by 4 and by what? By 100. So, so far, we have managed to implement the first two conditions. But if we enter in a year uh, that is uh, divisible by 100 uh, and also divisible by 4, uh, uh, a year which is divisible by 4,400, it will not allow. Are you getting it? It will tell us it is not leap, yet it is leap. If I look at that right now, hmm? let us try to run program. So we are about to finish the number. All it wanted was that. Mm? So we put in a number like a, a year like 2,400. Mm? This year is divisible by, uh, by, by, by 4. It is divisible by 100, isn't it? So it is going to tell us it is not leap. But again, it is divisible by, four, 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 by what? Four, 400. So it should be leap. So it is not correct there. So we need to bring in the third condition of um, if the year is divisible by four. So one thing I'm going to do in here is remember the 400 is the, the multiple of both four and 100. That means if a year is divisible by 400, by default, it is divisible by four, isn't it? So what you are going to do, we are going to start with that condition. If it's divisible by 400, it is already a leap. Are you getting it? Then if it is not divisible by 400, but it is divisible by 4, but not, four and, but not 100, then it is leap or not. So we are going to come here, and uh, we come and we put another if else up this side. Mm -hmm. So we are going to come up and we say if, okay, yeah, if yeah, if yeah what? If yeah mod, 400, okay, is equal to what? Zero. Only one condition. If here, yeah, modulus 400 is equal to zero, then there must be what? There must be what? Leap. Then here we just put else. Else. We are going to say else if. What called else if? Else if here yeah, modulus 4 is equal to 0 and yeah, so these are the conditions we are putting them here. Two so can you have about 400? One have about one way. Those ones are massive. They already they, they pass. If you are divisible by 400, you are leaving because we know you are even divisible by 4. Are you getting it? If you are not divisible by 400, you can still be leap. That is in case you divisible by 4, but not divisible by 100. Are you getting it? So we have finished our number. Mm? This is all it needed. It needed just some simple. Let me magnify it for the local members here to see. 
the the locals the the locals to to understand you see for me i'm i'm not teaching only you you students i'm teaching the entire world so my my lesson is recorded so this is what we had uh in our programming uh, i'm going to tell you to do this uh program make sure you do this program um so this is what we have if the year is the mode is the modulus okay zero by four then it is a leap year this is known as an input box an input box gives out a prompt eh, like a pop-up dialogue that pop-up dialogue is pre-designed by microsoft we don't have to redesign manually that pop-up like the way we designed the other forms once you say input box enter area is the message inside the first message here is the message in the form then the year entry form this is the title of the pop-up form the 2000 here was the default inside the message box and these are the dimensions of the message box the input box then the first part here is a if statement then we have our message in case true then we have the else if in case this is not true we look at two other conditions then we can have this and i've told you to refer to i've told you to refer to um uh, first of all, I told you that you should refer to um, our um, very good programs here. I've told you to refer to uh, this, pro this uh, website called bbtutor.net. It can be able to help you um, to understand these things. It has everything that we are looking at here. This one bbtutor.net it has it teaches bbtutor 2012 all these other bbs bbtutors are there so you can look at um you can look at mathematical operators including those things of modulus the if else which i've used it is here in lesson number nine if else if else is used for um multiple conditions okay the greater even the not equal to is here the less than you should be able to use any of these the logical operators are here the and is used to combine two conditions the or is supposed is like a union the and is intersection in this case we wanted an intersection between being divisible by four and not being divisible by 100 but sometimes you may have a condition whereby they want you to do uh something when it is in this and this and union are you getting it so there we use the or operator then we have what you call the exclusive or if you did the computer architecture and you looked at logic operators logic gate boolean algebra those things are here exclusive and then the the not which is the negative the, neg the negation so try to if, as you revise for your exams please go to vbtutor.net and pass all these lessons the, the, the numbers they are going to bring in your exams will require reasoning they are not just easy you need to read a question and then understand it and then apply your your programming okay so you have a few weeks to exam and uh, i'm telling you please look at these things we have uh, things like the case, the case using select case. If you have, uh, I found you guys doing uh, seek, you guys of diploma. These things of case are also there. These things of case. Did you do case in C? So case, where they tell you to pass in like a case, a program which tells us whether the day is uh, a Sunday or not. So you put in a grade, and then for a given case, it gives you. Uh, an output so you can use what you call message box you can have an input and then you pass it as the variable here and then you have message boxes down here okay yeah i'm going to actually give you some cutest uh, another can number which does this which you can use for that
Yeah, so for, for today, this one here has uh, done our programming. So if I say run, my program should be now good. Uh, should be able to good, uh, should be able to run for me. If I click on the program, okay, if I put in uh, 2,400, ideally it would have rejected it because it is divisible by 100. But since it is also divisible by 400, it is going to tell us it is what? Lib. Then if I run again, and um, the program, I put in something which is not divisible by 4, um, then I click OK, it will say it will not leave. So this is all they wanted. So for my sister here, I would just tell, do for her this program, and then she will be able to pass. So after all this, follow what will be tutor do. So this is my question I've finished doing. Question four and inside there is what? Leap here. Label your folders very well. The first folder, call it question name. Then inside, the other, when we're making the program, what the leap here. So the uh, examiner will come in here and uh, he can be able to find your work in here. If you have to print your work, you can either copy the codes from the other side or you could even come and open. If I open this with notepad, I can still find the codes inside. If I open this with notepad plus plus, I can still find the codes inside. But you take the screenshot, the other side, and then also the code. You see, I've now opened this with notepad, and this is where my code is. The code is normally inside form1.vb, which is inside, deep here inside, the dot, b, the, the dot vb file. So we need this code also to be printed mm? when you are. So you can print this. And uh, I told you, in VB, you can put your name as a comment by putting, a, by putting it as an apostrophe. You can put an apostrophe like this and then say, uh, OK, you can always the when you are printing, you, you put there your name before printing. Okay? You can use this kakot. Kakot means commenting. You are commenting out of that. You could put it from the other side of VB. It is okay. It will still run. Okay? Then I can print my work into a printer. Or I can copy this, paste it in Word, and print from there. But also, I need it also to print the screenshot of my work using print screen button of the keyboard. So for now, you burn this on the CD and you'll be done with your number. So thank you very much for uh, following.